Hello and welcome to this episode of Motors for the Masses and today we're going to be looking at the top 15 ugliest cars ever made. So let's roll the intro and get cracking. This might be painful. What? I thought you were going to say crack. Oh yeah, crack. <laughs> this might be painful. Well, you, the I'm, ugly cars. No, I thought you meant because you were going to go crack right in my ear. I thought that's what you meant. <laughs> right, okay, roll that intro. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Move up. So let's start with number one. And that is what? Daihatsu Copen. The Daihatsu Copen. <laughs> Look at the state of that. It's a car that doesn't know which is the front and which is the back. It's got like this growth in the middle. It's just an ugly, stupid, pointless little baked <laughs> bean of a car. That's what it is. Try not to say the words. I'll tell you what it is. It's noddy in one colour. If that had red front wings and red back wings, that would be the noddy car. One. It's the ugliest thing I've ever seen, uh, and it look it looks like you, the driver's seat is at the front and the back. At the same so time. So you drive both ways. This is in a different colour, and you can see how long that back end looks. I mean, look at that! What's that about? Why is it so short? Exactly, yeah. But it's, it like, it's like, that's how big the back is. Look, look at this as a convertible. To me, that looks like... It wants to be an Audi TT, but it just isn't good enough. And an Audi TT is not a cool car. That back wing doesn't look good on it. No, it doesn't. That's just... It's a copyright version of the convertible Mini. If you cut it down the middle and took out the red light and the, the front clear light, you wouldn't know which is the front and which is the back, apart from the spoiler and the windscreen and the seats facing that, that way. But you know what I mean. It's just... <laughs> yeah, and also... Um... Doesn't that kind of look like a copyright of Mini's convertible? It does look a little bit like a Mini. Yeah, you're not wrong. It does look a little bit like a Mini convertible, especially with that front light in that position. What side is the steering wheel? Is it American or English? <coughs> Left or right? That one looks like it's on the right. But, um, you can't so it's really made by England? It. Made for English drivers, <laughs> yes. England, why do you make this kind of cars? Let's move on to number two. I thought I say the numbers. Okay. Let's move on to... Number two. And that is... Nissan Cube. The Nissan Cube. The car that it's just... It's a cube. Well, it is, it's but it's cuboid. also the car that annoys anyone with OCD. Me. <laughs> You've got OCD, have you? Do you know mm. what OCD is? Mm. What does OCD stand for? Optician. Karen. Karen with a C. O C. Optician Karen. Doctor. Doctor. Right. Yes. If you have optician Karen doctor, then you would not like this car. No, I mean caring. I say optician caring doctor. Oh, okay. No, it's obsessive compulsive disorder. What? Which means if things aren't um, o OCD has various different forms. You can either do it where you I have to have I things hate, in a certain I, way. I hate you can have it where you're constantly talking over people. I hate it when there's just a straight line and then it's just slightly diagonal. Oh yes, the car. Let's move on to the car. It's so okay. bad. He's bored with about knowing what OCD means, clearly. Huh? Right, let's look at the back end first. I mean, look at that look. I'll tell you what it's like. It's one, like one of those strapless tops that women wear that's got one strap on one side and then it goes across here and then under the arm on the other side. That's what that looks like. It's a girl. It's a woman's strapless top. Semi, half strapless top. It's not even a strapless top. It's a one half strapless top. Look at it. Cube. What a stupid name. It's, uh, who has a wraparound window? I know it's different, but it's just stupidly different. Let's have a look at it from the front. I mean, from the front, you could argue it's not obviously ugly. It is like a square with his front bit sticking on, but I don't think the front is as bad as the back, do you? Mm. So from a different angle, this is that whole quarter back window. I mean, look at it. It's just... It looks like three windows, but it's actually one window. And then the, the back 
it's like a whole just back and then it goes round so you can't it's not just the back it's just like turn yeah yeah it's like yeah. turn it's and got then a bend open. on it that's what it is it's a car with a bend on one then, side then how does it open well the handle you've got the handle on the back and it opens the whole rear door so it just goes and then the whole car opens no, it doesn't. No, no. That's, but that's what it looks like. You're right. It looks like the whole back end of the car swings open, but it doesn't. It's just the back door that's opened. That's just ridiculous. Stupid, ugly, pointless piece of poo. And you should have said. So then, let's move on to number... Three. And that is... A Fiat Multiplar. The Fiat Multiplar. The car that is so ugly... It looks like it vomited whilst looking at itself in a mirror. And its eyes have gone Bleh. You should you should see the the logo. It's just like look, the window, then it's like diagonal that way, and then the little tiny fit that's that small on the car. Just like that. Like, how can you even read that? Yeah, but the, that's not the worst part about it. I mean, what's with that bubble thing? I, mean, I, I remember when these, when these first came out in 2001, This looks one, like some kind of baby cartoon TV show. It does look like a cartoon. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like a real car. It looks like something Ew. that... Is that you farting? Oh, it's you. No, it was not. Oh, that smells. That's no, definitely you. If that was me, I'd have been proud and I'd have owned up and I'd have leant to one side. I saw you do it. Get your feet off that. <laughs> There is nothing attractive about that whatsoever. It's got this stupid squatty little bonnet and then this vomited headlight arrangement where it's it's driving along the car has looked itself in the mirror and got and it is a little bit of sick that's now stuck to the front of the car it's hideous absolutely hideous i don't like it in any way whatsoever do you want to see it from a different angle see if it makes it any better there you go what do you think of that the back end what's going on with those lights it, it looks like a jelly bean but it does, you right. It's like that Haribo bear. Yes, it is. It's a Haribo bear jelly bean for a, for a real life. No, just, just, no, somebody going up to the car. Mmm, very nice. <laughs> it's, but it's not even any shape. It's just like this globule of Haribo jelly bean that's been stuck to the back end on either side. That's exactly what it is. You're right. I love that. It's a Harry Bow jelly bean of a rear light. How about that for a description? <laughs> but look, I mean, look at the proportion. You've got these massive windows. The whole thing about it is supposed to have six seats. So you've got three people in the front, a bench seat, and then three people in the back, or three set seats. Imagine <laughs> somebody sat in the boot. So it's like a van, <coughs> but it's not a van. It's just this ugly globule with jelly bean Harry Bow lights. What? And with this massive glass and short doors. It looks. The door, the door just looks like. A rectangle. It is. It is a rectangle on the side. That's horrible. I don't want to look at it anymore. Right, let's have one look from the side view. <laughs> it, it, it looks like somebody was fat and then they just went a lump in, out. <laughs> and then again in and then out. And then back in. It's got a roll of fat like on the, the like bottom this. of the windscreen. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's got a roll of fat on the bottom of the windscreen. Mmm. Juicy. <laughs> right, let's move on to... Oh, yeah, number four. Yeah, you've forgotten where we are now. Yeah? <laughs> right, and that is... Mahindra E20. E what? 20. E what? 20. Thank you. Right, yes, the Mahindra E20. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of that? It looks like a. It looks like a, a. It looks like the side of a truck, but worse. I tell you what it looks like. It looks like it used to be longer. Yeah. And someone. It, it has, looks like it was just like that, and then just really tall. It looks like it used to be longer, and someone has pushed it in from the front, while someone's also pushing it in from the back, and it's gone. Two BFGs. Yeah, they have, and then one's gone. Literally, it's gone up at the same time. And and then there's the the door. It, it looks like, it looks like, an, basically, put something very small. <laughs> the camera could that. fit in there, and it would barely fit in there. It's, look at it from the back. It's, I don't know what's going on with those lights. It's like the lights, 
meet the roof and then it's the lights that join the roof to the rear panel. I don't know why, why does it go up like that? And it's just the manufacturing of that window must be, what, what's the difficult about doing a window that's that shape? It's like down, up, that is awful. It looks like it belongs to someone who needs physical assistance. Let's go with that. Like when, no, maybe when like somebody, like when they had to do Harry Potter's nose and it went like. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Harry Therapy. Potter nose car. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's move on to. Number five. Which is. The Mitsuoko Vute. The Mitsuoko Vute. Now Mitsuoko have made some unusual cars and some of them are quite attractive from some angles, but this. It looks like it wants to be a Jag XK120 at the front end. It kind of looks like a copyright Alfa Romeo, but also mixed with Beetle. Yeah, it's and got, Jaguar. Yeah, it's got a bit of Jag, bit of Beetle, and a bit of Alfa Romeo in there, is it? <laughs> it's hideous. The Mitsuoko blob. The mix. What was it again? The Mitsuoko Vute. And what, what even the name is that? Mitsuoko. Vute. V Poo. V I E W T. Vute. That's not how you spell Vute. Well, Vute's Vute not a word. Not a word. No, I just made it, it up. It should be Mitsuoko View. Yeah. An actual word. It should be Mitsuoko Bad View. <laughs> yeah. Poor View. So let's look at the. Let's look at it from the side. I'll tell you what, from the side, it looks a bit like a London taxi with a tiny little boot on the back. I want to know how big that boot is. Looking closer at this side view, have you seen what's on the bonnet? Jag. That's a Jag logo, yes. Someone's put a Jaguar on the bonnet because they think the front end is a bit Jag-like and the back end has got a bit of... Um, ah, that's copyright. The Queen's, yeah, the Queen's Rolls Royce back end going on. That's awful. Well, especially well, the with those... Queen, you mean King now. Well, it is now, but the Queen had a, cut, uh, a Rolls Royce like that with a sort of weird back end. It's a bit what it's like. Um, what makes me laugh is it doesn't even put alloys on it. They've got steel wheels with hubcaps. It's just awful. Absolutely awful. Let's look at a rear view. It looks like a back of the, the newest, the taxi from Forza 4. Uh, yeah, it's a bit, yeah, exactly. But like a taxi from Forza 4. Also, a bit like a Rover 100. That's what I it knew looks they like. had 20. It, uh, it, those no, lights, those those light, it's just one dot, two yeah. dot, three. It's getting big. It's like it's slightly big, small. The lights are like a, an aftermarket kit car. They're just, <laughs> it's just hideous. It's just like, I'm a big dot. I'm a little kind of big dot. And if you look at, just at that dot. rear door, that rear door, like it's been taken off another car and shoved in there. Like, like it doesn't fit the car. Get in there. Yeah, oh, not happy with in. that. Right. Let's have a look at the next one. So let's move on to... Mm, number six. Number six. Which is... The Nissan Pulsar NX Sportback. Okay, the Nissan Pulsar. Now, if you remember the Nissan Pulsar, it was a very fast Japanese hatchback car, but not this one. First of all, I'm gonna show you the Nissan Pulsar S. E. Now this isn't ugly. That I looks like, like that. the Back to the Future. I like that. That's nice. That looks like the car from Back to the Future. It just needs to be grey and then all the... Well that has got the front end of a Nissan S13A and then the back end of a bit like a, a Pontiac Fiero. I quite like that. It's a bit Americanized um, with a lot of Japanese influence and I like that. Hatchback car, very nice. Do you, However, do you think that as the Back to the Future car? Similar to the DeLorean, similar, yes. However, they weren't happy with that. They thought, no, no, what we're going to do is take off that hatchback and instead we're going to put on a piece of cheese. <laughs> hey, so it's the same colour as your Mustang. It's got a bit of um, Honda Civic, old 80s Honda Civic look to it. It's like the back of, um, what's that, Ghostbusters Did you just car. say it's got a bit like my Mustang? The colour. It's red. Don't worry about the colour. That's red. My Mustang's orange. Oh. But um, no, that tail bit, it's like all they've done is taken off the, the tail of a hatchback and stuck on that estate, which opens like a hatch. It, it's, it's, it looks like the back of the Ghostbusters car. Yes, it does. It's ghost. That's what it is. 
Um, the uh, the guy who was driving the DeLorean from Back to the Future reversed into the Ghostbusters car and they became one. And they became one. It's hideous. Absolutely hideous. Let's see it from a different angle. Look at that look. <laughs> yeah, honestly, it's like a bit stuck on the back in place of the hatchback. That's all they've done. Why do they even have that car? It's, I don't know. It's like they couldn't be bothered to design something else, so they just replaced it with a different boot lid. That's all they've done. Let's have a look at the side, Hang shall the we? Side. There you go. <laughs> I quite like the BBS wheels on that. They're quite nice. But other the, than that... The window is just like a... Dun, dun, it's dun, also dun, a and then of... normal car bit. Yeah, then dun, exactly. Dun, yeah, they've just dun, replaced dun, that back end. Dun. It's also got a bit of Volvo... Um, oh, what was that? The Volvo... Volvo... I can't remember the name of it now. Um, I'll find it and I'll put it up now. If we can find it. I will. <laughs> okay, so that's enough of that. Let's move on to the next one, which is number seven. And that is... Nissan Prairie Stanza. Nissan. Yes. It's the Nissan Prairie in the UK. It was the Nissan Stanza in the USA, but it's the same vehicle. Uh, it's Nissan again. What is going on with Nissan? Look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? It's a block. That's what it is. It's a block with a front end. I, I don't really mind that, actually. You don't mind that? No. I need some tea after that. What do you mean you don't mind that? I don't really mind that. What's nice about it? Well, it looks like some normal old card from the 1980s. When you were yeah, about... Yeah, it's from the 80s. So you were six. Well, from 1980. In 1980, I was six, yes. But that's actually from 1986. That's a C-Reg. That's awful. So you were 12 when this came out? Yes. That's hideous. Look at it. I think they came out before that. In 1983, I think they came out. Let's show you from the back end. Look. The window? Yeah, exactly. That's the stanza. That's the American version, but it's the same as the UK version. That's awful. That back, that back window looks like it doesn't match the rest of the car. Massive bit of glass. That's, how can you say that's all right? I suppose that's individual taste for you, but that is awful. I'm sorry. That's horrible. Absolutely horrible. All right, let me show you this one. It's the same car from 1985, the Japanese version. Look at that! <laughs> Look at the baby. It's like a snail. That's what it is. It's a snail with a little with a little feeler sticking out the front. <laughs> it's a snail. It's the Nissan snail. It's the slow as well. And it and at the front it says <laughs> Nissan Furby. Yeah, but it's not. It's a Nissan snail with its little feelers. I'm a Nissan Furby. Nissan no, Furby. Yeah, that's not far wrong. <laughs> no, look at the top, there's just like that little vents, three vents. Yeah, that's to cool that massive engine down. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, right, let's move on to the eighth one. Which is... Nissan... The Nissan... Puke. The Bleh. Nissan Puke. First gen. First gen, yes. Don't which even know what that means. The Nissan first generation, which means the first one that came out. The Nissan Duke. But I've called it the Nissan Puke, and I'm sure I'm not the only one that calls it that. Now, me. this is hideous. Mostly because of what? Where have you had? Is it just in the what, middle? What makes it the ugliest bit? The lights. The lights. But it's, exactly. just like, it's, it's like a hawk's eye. Yeah, the lights that are perched on top of the bonnet. I mean, who puts lights on a bonnet? You've already got lights at the bottom. You've already got headlights in the middle. And then you go and put some weird light arrangement along the bonnet, which means if anything touches that, smash. I'm a hawk. It's now the people say, what about the Nismo version? But the Nismo version doesn't get rid of the lights, does it? Can you not slurp your tea whilst you got a microphone on, please? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Slurp juice from Fortnite. Slurp juice. Right. Look at the back end. It's just as bad. It's like the lights are an afterthought. But, but look at the boot. It's just, look at the lights. It's just like a loser. Like, like that. Look. See that? It is. <laughs> I see, this is what I wanted to do in the video. You can see things that I can't see. That's brilliant. Yes, it's the Nissan Lou <laughs> Zaha. Lou <laughs> Zaha. That is horrible. I, just... it is, I mean, look, the lights don't, the lights meet four different panels. You've got the, the quarter panel, the rear panel, the boot, and the window into the top 
bit of that this, little There's panel. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Technically, ten lights in the back. Yeah, but it's not even a right shape. Look, if you look on the right-hand side one, it's like they've come down and then a little bump and then down again. <laughs> it's like whoever was drawing it got their arm knocked by the child as he walked past. <laughs> it's horrible. I can't be bothered to rub that arm. Now, they, I think they recognised that this was hideous because the new version actually looks quite nice. I don't mind the new version, it's Let's quite see. nice. There you go. Oh, that's much nicer. It is much nicer. But anyway, that's not what this is about. Let's move on to number nine. Nissan S Cargo the Boxes. Yes, S Cargo. Now, why do you think they called it the S Cargo? Because they like to cargo it to different countries? No. S Cargo is a French word, S Cargo. What does that mean? It means snail in French. <laughs> However, Nissan is Japanese, but when I show you the design... Okay, the Nissan S Cargo. I think instead of the Nissan S Cargo, I think the one with the... Japanese version snail is should be the S cargo. Well, the reason why they called it, uh, they designed it like that is because it looks like the old um, Citroen wagon that they had in the 1960s, 1940s. What's 1940s? up with the back of it? It's just it's, like a block. It's, they, it's, yeah. it's just like cement. There you go. Can't be bothered to do anything else. There it is. <laughs> the window. That's from the back end. It the window is, looks like a TV. It looks like a cartoon car, like this big, long, sweeping curve, a slab for a back end, and then this tiny little bonnet. It is it's very like, much... It's like a little kid draw it. It is, yeah. It is very much based around the, say, the French Citroen van, which looks like this. Clickety. Except it isn't a French van. Oh. It's a Nissan, meant to look like a ridiculous French van, made of corrugated iron. <laughs> And, iron. Yeah, which is what they they were built with, the original ones. And yeah, it's just horrible. I'm sorry, it's just ridiculous. A massive window on the side with a massive door and a tiny little front end. But yeah, not impressed with that one little bit. So yes, and number? S, I think personally the S car should definitely go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See what did there? No. The S car should go. S car go. S, what's, what's the, the S, S car? Should go because it's called the S car go. The uh -huh. S car should definitely go. The S car should go. I totally get it. Dad jokes. Yes, dad jokes. They're brilliant. The S car should go. Dad jokes. All right, let's move on to number nine. Is it? Just look at the dad yeah, jokes. number nine. Come on, what's number nine? No, number ten. No, number nine. No, ten. No, Pontiac number nine. at stake. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> okay, all right, let's move on to number 10. Which is? Pontiac Aztec. The Pontiac Aztec, and this is it. Now, the Pontiac Aztec made its name from the uh, TV show Breaking Bad. That's what made it so popular. In America, it's very popular because obviously it's an American really mind vehicle. It. Really? Look at it. It's nothing attractive about it at all. Let me show you it. Well, I don't like the back window. Like, it's just like a... Yeah, all right. It's another, it's another jelly bean. Well, you see that, see that bit along the, the bottom there? Yeah. The basic so, version is like that. Look at that, look. It's like this massive globule of plastic stuck to the side. You don't think that's not ugly? <laughs> Three-spoke wheels, very 90s. That is awful. Those indicators are stuck to the bonnet. You can't say anything. You were born in the 70s. I don't look like a Pontiac Aztec. But you love 70s. I haven't got indicators. If, if I had indicators stuck to my forehead, then I'd be the same. Then I would but laugh I my head out. Your head out? Head off. All right, look at the back end. This big slab of a bulletproof back window by the looks of that. It's the, it's the back of the Cybertruck. It's so cheap and pathetic, it doesn't even have a petrol flap. Look at that look. It looks like the back of the Cybertruck. It does, you're right. I see, that's where Elon Musk got his idea from. I think Elon Musk went, he looked at the Pontiac Aztec and thought, oh yes, I like that. How can we make this slab modernized? And that's what he's done. He's turned that into the Cessna, the Cessna which is like a Tesla. But, um, Cecil. plain version. But sassy. 
Yes, it's a sassy cyber truck. Except it's not. It's hideously ugly and I hate it. Ugly sassy. It's, I tell you what, it's worse on the back end than it is on the front end. I'll give you that. Sassy. All right, just, okay, that's enough of that. Let's move on to the next one, which is number 11, and that is. Revey Jeewees. <laughs> the Jeewees, yes, which is similar to Gee Whiz. Yes, the Gee Whiz. Now, this is a car that um, I think was mostly made because it's electric for uh, people with disabilities. However, why is it that people with disabilities have to get something so jokey? I mean, look at it. That's not even a proper car, is it? Again, it's another car that's been smashed up the back end and shortened by about four foot. It looks like, it looks like the front is just like, the front is fine, it's just squished the back. That's it, the front's a frog. <laughs> it's got frog eyes, the little froggy mouth, your grinny froggy mouth. Tiny little wheels that look like they should be on a shopping trolley. And, and then that just like bottom is like... I mean, look at the back end. That's where it, it's it's most unattractive. <coughs> it is, it's been punched in the back. <laughs> no, the door is like <coughs> diagonal like that. Yeah, it's a weird shape, isn't it? No, diagonal like that for you guys. Surely, if anything, it should have the diagonal the other way because then you've got to, you've got to get your feet, your legs in. and mm. I don't know, It's just horrible. Look, like look, at look, at the, look at the back lights, it's just like a... And and not, it's just like a little lit drain, raindrop there, and then they just have a, a, a piece of snot at the top. <laughs> it's a raindrop and snot light system. That's what they've gone for. The, the raindrop and snot light. <laughs> oh dear, yeah. Pointless. Horrible. Ugly. Right, let's move on to number 12. Sabrina Vanguard. Or in English. I had to the, say it posh. It's almost sort of Frenchified. Um, in English, Sebring Vanguard. Sabrina Vanguard. Or commonly known as a piece of cheese. But, well, that one isn't, it's, that isn't real. That's just from a game. It's not. It's real. No, that's from a game. It's not. Look. See? That, that's from a game. It's not from a game. Look at the number plate. That's not from a game. It is. No, I've, right. I've seen it in one of my games. Okay, if you've seen it in one of your games, then this is it in real life. It looks worse in real life. It looks like a... It, it looks like the Cybertruck, but really armoured, but just not the no, Cybertruck. It looks like it's been made from a wheelie bin. No, it, 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 looks, like, it, looks, it looks like the blue bin, but just armoured and protected, like... It is. Ready to fight, fight the rubbish. <laughs> Guarding the rubbish. It is. Someone has cut up a wheelie bin and they've turned it into this. They've put wheels, they've put two extra wheels on the front. But look, and these bumpers, what's that? That's not a proper bumper. It's like a piece of metal that's been welded onto the front and welded onto the back. That's horrible. It's electric as well. Do you think they use them for people with that, disabilities that, also? That, that doesn't even look like electric. It just looks like a it just, it just looks like something you like it's like do you know that the little mcdonald's cars kids have you push it <laughs> <laughs> honestly if someone drove into that they wouldn't kill them they'd just go straight over the top of them <laughs> it's a ramp that is the general lee's dream car <laughs> that's what it wants to come up against when it's going around all the country lanes it wants to come up against one of these a sebring Feliz Navidad. Car. <laughs> What's I got that from the bike. It's like a Christmas jump. Feliz Navidad. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Well, because it's like blue, like the little balls. The, the, the thingy thingy. Baubles. Yeah, that. So you think that picture's from a computer? Yes. Oh, okay. It All is. Right. Look, shit. I bet the comments will say it's from a video game. Okay. Well, comments, okay. agree with me. I'm smarter than him on games. Right, okay, let's move on to... I don't just do it to make him feel good. <laughs> let's move on to number 13. What's that? Sangyong Rodius. The Sangyong Rodius. I want to say that in like a Korean accent, but I don't know Korean accents. Sangyong Rodius. Yeah, because Sangyong is Korean. Sangyong Rodius. Did you know Sangyong's Korean? Yeah, I know. How, how do you know that? 
because it sounds Korean. That's very astute of you. Well, there it is. <laughs> Look at the back window. It's the back door. Yeah, the back window. Because we It is. Look, from the side, look. Look at that. <laughs> it's, I, I tell you what, it looks like it wants to be the BMW X6. Oh, no. And then I they've see. shoved this roof section on the back end of it. It looks like the, the SUV Porsche kind of thing, but just worse. Way worse. Yeah, I'd say I'm going with BMW X6, and then they've shoved a roof on it. On I'm that going back end. with Porsche USUV. That is awful, absolutely awful. Let's look from the back. Big wrap around window thing going on. At, at least it just, at least it's not like the first one where it's just one go around. Yeah, it's, that looks almost acceptable from that end, from, mm. that, from that view. Angle, from that angle but yeah. when you see it from the side. Yeah, the side really shows the add-on extra roof section that really shouldn't be there. In general, it is an ugly car. Yes, yes, of course it is. All right, let's move on then to number 14. Suzuki X90. Now, the Suzuki X90, I think, is going to cause some controversy or controversy, whichever you want I to say. I thought say. Suzuki was only a bike. No, no like they a make... A brum mini bike. No, they make cars. There it is. I think they made it small because it wants to look like the Suzuki bike. Yeah, exactly. That's convertible. Yeah. That, that looks like from a movie from the 18, no, the 19, 1990s. But from the side profile there, again, it looks like a car that used to be six foot longer. Maybe not six foot, but <laughs> a few foot longer. And it's been smacked in the front and back and it's Slap. on. Slap. No, like this. No, put your hand there. Slap. Yes, it's part of the Suzuki Vitara family. What? Suzuki Vitara, which again was not brilliant at all. See, it's a bit more modern than Suzuki Vitara, but that, it's just, I don't know, it's just a, a blob, there's silly little lights stuck on the front end. It's just the whole thing, like it's been squashed. It's like a Vauxhall Frontier that's had its back end chopped off with its roof still. I say it looks like a car from the movies, from that Hulk movie when it's very old. And looks like a car that would be in that movie. Very old? The Hulk movie? Very old? It, it, would, it would look like a car Hulk would hate because it's very small. Okay, what about from the back end? <laughs> I mean, again, it's another car that from the back looks better than it does from the front. That wing side. looks like your Mustang's wing. Oh, you've got to stop referring to things that look like my Mustang. My Mustang looks nothing like no, that. the back wing. Like, it just needs to be black. No, it doesn't. The back wing looks nothing like that. This is the back wing of my Mustang. Here. Nothing like it. So there you go. Yeah, I don't think you know what you're talking about there. Let's move on because um, I don't think that one is as bad as all the others. But let's left. We've left the best to last. The best. Now, of the worst. Yeah, this exactly that. Well done. You should be a presenter. The best of the worst. Now this has already made. Um, into 2024's list of ugly cars. It's supposed to be indestructible, let's say. Yeah, and what is it? The Tesla Cybertruck. The Tesla Cybertruck. The mathematician's mistake is what I'm calling it. So basically, they just copied a fat man. No. It's so heavy. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> it's a car that's got squares, rectangles, hexagons, and triangles so in it. So basically, they just put every shape they could think of. It's been designed by a mathematician, not, no. a not a car designer. What are those guys that just draw random shapes called? Like that art when they, there was like... Well, like modern artists. Can, There's can guys it... that draw random shapes. Uh, we'll are put a picture people? there when we find one. I don't know what you're talking about. Here. No, there isn't a picture there, because I'm not going to put a picture there. Yes, you can put a picture there. I don't know what to search for. I'll, 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 I'll show you what to search for. How are you going to search for people that make random shapes? You, you'll see it after the video when we edit it what in. Are you, what are you going to search to get up this picture? Artists that make random shapes. <laughs> exactly what I said. So, so we're, we're going to put it here because he's going to edit the video and he's going to put it in. So Otherwise, what? consequences. No, 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 because no, I'm intrigued. I want to know what these artists are that make random shapes. So let us put in, in Google... Artists that make random shapes. Random shapes. No, 
random shapes. That is like music. <laughs> what? At the top, at the top left, there's like this purple sun, and then it gets blacker, and then there's a, a little tiny one, and then at the top right, there's this like it goes like down and like a piano, black and white. I'll just search it. You oh, will find um, oh, oh, um, Picasso. Yeah. You think Picasso? Picasso shapes. Like that? Yeah. It's right, I see. The Picasso. And here's the back end. It's just a cube. It is. It's a, it's a rectangle. It is. There's, there's a rectangle. It looks like the police, but it's it's not blue and red. It's just red, darker red. Red, darker the, red. The, the light, yeah. Red. It's, uh, honestly, it's a mathematician's car designed by a mathematician who likes a bit of shaping. Or Picasso. It's Picasso's perfect truck. <laughs> It's hideous. I hate it. I hate it with a passion. So there we go. That is our top 15 worst and ugliest cars of all time and ever. And next time we Forever. do that video, I'm going to pick the ugliest cars because I have a very good fashion of ugliness. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thank you very much for joining us. We'll be back next time with something else. There's more bike reviews to come and car reviews and other stuff coming also. So and in summer, me and Dad are going to do a lot of videos because I have holiday. Yes, I have him for six weeks. Six weeks? Damn, that's more than a month. Yes, whilst you're not at school. So he's at home with me for six weeks because he's not at school. Well, and technically, just you do... and Mum's going to be... She'll be at work, yes. Or sleeping. Yeah, Mum will be at work or sleeping, yes. And I'll be looking after you as All always. All day, every day. Yep. So... There we go. Thank you very much for watching. Why do you <laughs> Please that? like, subscribe, and share, and all that garbage. Let's get to the end of this video because subscribe I've had here. Yeah. Thingy magic bell here. Um. Bell here. Yeah. Like here. Okay. You better put that there. I will, yes, all right. And I... please make sure to subscribe to our channel. Yes, thank you. So I until am next very time. Funny. So until next time, please run and drive carefully. And have fun. Bye. Why do we always have that end bit that's weird? It's not weird, it's my tagline. Anyway, do you, tag you smell like you farted? <laughs> have you? No. It's That wasn't me that time. No, it was. That was you, definitely. It definitely was. No, okay. that wasn't uh, me that time, because otherwise I would have felt okay. it with my bum. Off you go now. Last time it was me. Thank you for being in this video. You've been amazing. Goodbye.